Ngayon ay magsasabot naman tayo ng linear system using graphing. At sa graphing method, kapag ka ang line 1 at line 2 ay nag-intersect, ibig sabihin nun ang solution ng ating linear system ay independent. At kapag ka naman ang ating linear system ay line 1 at line 2 ay parehas lamang, ibig sabihin nun magkadikit sila o magkapatong. So, ibig sabihin nun yung ating uh, solution ay uh, infinitely many solution or dependent at kapag ka naman ang ating uh, linear system ay mayroong parallel line ang ating solution ay tinatawag na inconsistent or no solution so yun yung tatlong descriptions ng uh, linear system kapag ka na graph tayo so sa so problem number one Kung igagraph natin yung line 1 at line 2 using the slope intersect form, using the graphing paper, so yung line 1 natin ay may y-intercept na negative 1. So dito yung ating negative 1. At ang ating uh, slope ay 2x. Ibig sabihin nun ay up 1 or up. Move 2 units up, 1, 2, across 1. So ito yung ating second point. So yung ating line sa ating linear system ay nandirito. So, ito yung ating line 1. At yung ating line 2 naman ay negative 2x plus 6. So, ibig sabihin yung ating y-intercept ay nasa 6. So, 6 is somewhere here. At ang ating slope ay negative 2x. Ibig sabihin nun, down 2, 1, 2, across 1. So, you always move to the uh, right, never to the left. So, ang ating solution ay nandirito. So, kapag kinonect natin siya sa ating line dito, So, yung ating line 2 ay nandito So, ito yung ating solution. So, ibig sabihin nan, yung ating solution is approximately at 3 dito sa solution natin. Ibig sabihin nito, yung ating solution ay nag-intersect. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung ating solution ay independent. Now, notice na kapag ka gumawa tayo ng uh, graphing method sa system of linear equation, meron lang tayong uh, approximated value ng solution kasi yung line natin ay dependent lang sa ating graphing paper. So, ang isasagot lang natin dyan ay kung nag-intersect parallel lines or same line or independent, dependent, or inconsistent. So, sa Pangalawang example natin, mapapansin nyo na yung ating line 1 at line 2 ay hindi of the form y equals mx plus b. So kapag ka yung line natin ay hindi y equals mx plus b, kailangan natin siyang i-modify. So let's modify line 1. So yung line 1 natin ay x minus 3y equals 2. At kailangan natin siya i-change sa y equals mx plus b. At sa pagsagot o pagkuha ng y equals mx plus b, ibig sabihin kailangan natin um, isolve si y. So, subtract tayo ng x on both sides. And we'll have negative 3y equals negative x plus 2. And yung ating y, kailangan by itself. So, we'll divide by negative 3. So, we have y equals negative one-third x minus 2 over 3. So, ito yung ating line 1. At yung line 2 naman natin ay 4x. Taas ko lang. Yung ating line 2 naman ay 4x minus 12y equals 8. So, by changing it into y equals mx plus b, I will subtract 4x on both sides. So, meron tayo ngayong negative 12y equals negative 4x plus 8. And by 
dividing negative 12 so meron tayong y equals negative 4 over negative 12x minus 8 all over 12 at pag sinimplify natin yung ating fraction mapapansin nyo na yung ating equation ay magiging ang uh, simplest form ng 4 over 12 ay 1 over 3 So, pag modify natin ng line 1, which is x minus 3y equals 2, kailangan natin siyang i-change into y equals mx plus b. At by solving for y, pag nag-subtract tayo ng x, we'll have negative 3y equals negative x plus 2. At divide natin siya by negative 3. So, yung ating line 1 ay y equals 1 third x minus 2 over 3. So, ito yung ating line 1 na na-modify natin into y equals mx plus b. Now, yung line 2 naman natin which is 4x minus 12y equals 8. Kapag minodify natin siya, taas ko pala. Kapag minodify natin yung second line, so minus 4x on both sides. And dividing all terms by negative 12. At alam natin na pwede natin i-simplify yung mga fractions. So, 4 over 12 by dividing by 4, magkakaroon tayo ng y equals 1 third x. At yung 8 over 12, pag sinimplify natin siya by 4, will be 2 all over 3. So, mapapansin nyo na yung ating line 2, line 2, at yung ating line 1, ay parehas lamang. Ibig sabihin yan, kapag ginraph natin yung ating linear equation, ay magkakaroon tayo ng line na magkapatong. So, ibig sabihin yan, yung ating solution would be infinitely many solution. Or tinatawag din natin dependent. Now, kapag i-graph natin yung ating line na y equals 1 over 3x minus 2 over 3 using the graphing paper. So, negative 2 thirds. Ito yung negative 2 thirds. So, ibig sabihin, proper fraction. It's between 0 and 1. So, it's somewhere here. So, yung 1 third natin, it means up 1 and across 3. 1, 2, 3. So, ito yung ating line 1 at since yung line 2 natin ay parehas rin lang which is y equals 1 over 3x minus 2 over 3 so kapag ginap natin siya ito yung y intercept ito yung slope up 1 across 3 it will be the same line so kapag ka ginap natin magkapatong lang siya Kaya yung ating sagot dito ay infinite solution or dependent. 
Now, yung last example natin, kailangan din natin i-modify si line 1 at saka si line 2 para ma-check natin kung um, magkapatong ba siya or parallel lines. So, by changing it into y equals mx plus b, starting with line 1, line 1 is 3x plus y equals 5. Changing it into y mx plus b, I will subtract 3x So, nasa y equals mx plus b form na yung line 1 natin. So, baguhin na lang natin ngayon is si line 2. Si line 2 ay 15x plus 5y equals 2. So, by subtracting 15x, plus 2, and by dividing both sides by 5, I mean, each term by 5. So this cancels out. So meron tayong y equals negative 15 divided by 5 is 3x plus 2 all over 5. So in this case, yung ating line 1 at line 2 ay magkaparehas lang ng slope, pero yung y-intercept niya ay magkaiba. So ibig sabihin niyan, since yung slope ay negative 3, at yung slope ay negative 3 at yung y-intercept ay magkaiba ibig sabihin parallel lines yan so yung solution natin dito would be no solution or pwede rin natin siyang tawaging inconsistent at kapag graph natin yung ating line 1 at line 2 so yung line 1 natin ay y equals negative 3x plus 5 at yung line 2 i y equals negative 3x plus 2 all over 5 by graphing it line 1 is at 5 y intercept is at 5 5 um slope is negative 3 so 1 2 3 across 1 so ito yung ating line 1 at kapag ka Ginraft natin si line 2, meron tayong 2 over 5, which means proper fraction siya. So, it's in between 0 and 1. So, somewhere here. So, yung ating slope ay negative 3. So, we have 1, 2, 3 across 1. So, yung ating second point ay somewhere there. So, kapag ka ginraft natin siya, mapapansin nyo na yung ating line 1 at saka yung line 2 ay parallel. So, meron tayong no solution kasi hindi mag intersect si line 1 at si line 2 or pwede din natin siyang tawagin inconsistent. So, yan yung pagsagot ng ating system of linear equation by graphing. At kung uh, nagustuhan nyo at natutunan, may natutunan kayo sa video na ito, please uh, subscribe and like or share my video para mas marami pa akong students na ma matulungan sa mga tutorials ko. Thank you!